Hey guys and welcome back to YT News. There has been some really huge controversy around a popular app called TikTok. And we'll be talking about why the government is trying to get TikTok banned. But before we get into that, why don't you guys help the channel out by liking the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that bell notification too so you get notified every time we post a video. Ah, uh, anyway, let's uh, let's just jump into hell, why don't we? TikTok is an app that's soared in popularity in the last few years. It is an absolute powerhouse at this point. It is used to create short dances, lip sync, comedy, talent, and some just g general videos. It is an app owned by the Beijing-based internet technology company called ByteDance. It became a worldwide app when it merged with Musical.ly in August 2018. TikTok has been taken with open arms by everyone, most notably Americans when they've been using TikTok a lot and they have a lot of TikTok stars coming from this app. The likes of Addison Rae, Lil Huddy, Charlie Emilio are much more. TikTok is used by audience of most ages, but is dominantly used by kids and teenagers and young adults. The app itself really booms and you can find TikTok surfacing on other social media platforms like Twitter and Instagram and loads more. It has been said that TikTok has more than 52 million US users and has gained about 12 million since the outbreak of the coronavirus. But why is the US government and even the UK government threatening to ban TikTok from their perspective countries? Well, the problem is TikTok gathers a lot of data about the user. But that isn't much of a problem as pretty much every app does that, with your permission. Anyway, I mean, it, it doesn't really matter since they'll probably use it for, for, for their own personal gain. But yeah, they, they still kinda ask, I guess. You know, to have access to your camera, photos, GPS, etc. Once you use TikTok for a few days, the app has a good idea of what you look like and how you hold your phone and who are you friends with. You know, the, the basics, stalker. You know, what video you like to watch, what topic you're interested, what website you visit. It's basically Facebook 1.2. If it was even more toxic. It reads the messages you compose and exchange on the app. And TikTok can match this data with other information collected about users from third party services and publicly available sources. Now, the problem comes with where the information is going and this is what the government does not like. All the data being gathered is apparently going back to China. More specifically, the Chinese government. Let's just say uh, a few countries were not happy about that. Trump and his administration at the moment are actively working on trying to get the app back. And at the moment though, there is no proof of the app actually sharing information to the Chinese government. And as you expect, ByteDance themselves had denied such is happening anyway. The company says American user data is stored in servers in the US and Singapore, not China. For the US, the ban is threatened for more political reasons rather than it being infringement. Trump and China have been at war for a while and it's evident by the country not working with Huawei, which is of course a Chinese company. The US government has not approved of any formal plan of banning TikTok, though lawmakers are pushing for fast action against the app from multiple angles. The American companies have already urged their employees to stop using the app or deleting it and d d just completely wiping it off their phone forever in fear that information will be leaked to the Chinese government, mostly where employees have it installed on their corporate phones. So at the moment, it's already a panic station for everyone. The threat of the ban has gotten the attention of everyone. Even some viral TikTok users are already setting up their backup plan, which is switching to another platform and hopefully taking their following with them. The next best thing is the app called Thriller, which is pretty popular but nowhere near reaching the heights of TikTok. Thriller focuses more on hip hop style lip syncing, but in essence it's very much similar to TikTok. For Trump, he'll be doing as much as he can to get the app banned since he's not very keen to do anything with China at the moment. He's just gonna make the assumption that TikTok is infringing people's sensitive information and using that against ByteDance. But at the end of the day, it must be proven and if they manage to do that they will have solid ground to issue a ban but for the time being tiktok is innocent until proven guilty only time could tell if the attempt to ban actually holds up and on that note i guess i'm gonna ban myself <laughs> That's the end for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. You know, to see more awesome content like this. You know, very controversial and stuff that will probably get me assassinated by uh, the, the Chinese government. Anyway, make sure to hit that bell notification so you get notified whenever we post. And we'll see you next time in the YT News. And if you don't hear from me in the next uh, week or so, I'm probably dead. Until then, take care. Goodbye.